I remember the first time I drove an electric vehicle. Since that moment, I've been convinced that EVs are the way of the future. I've subsequently led the charge that not only can you have an awesome vehicle that rivals its internal combustion counterparts, but one that massively raises the bar while creating a more sustainable future. It's simply a better experience. Instant torque, crazy power, Ultium fast charging capability. And the structure is now one with the propulsion system. The GMC Hummer EV is a super truck that will change perceptions about what an electric vehicle is. And it'll lead us all into a zero emission future. I'd like to introduce you to the Hummer EV. Now this is the first vehicle to use GM's Ultium platform. The heart and soul of this system is a 24 module double stack battery system the sheer power of the Ultium battery pack enables off-road and performance features that will really set us apart. And we can cool and control these batteries with our architecture for even more performance from special driving modes like terrain to watts to freedom. But I think the coolest part of the Ultium system is the battery management system, which debuts on the Hummer EV. And the speed and robustness of communications really sets it apart from a wired system. And the Ultium platform takes this technology and creates something that we like to call universal charging. We can charge just about anywhere. You can go all the way up to 800 volts and 350 kilowatts on a DC fast charge. This will actually get you about 100 miles charge in only 10 minutes. But Tim, why do I even need that? With 350 miles of range, that's more than enough to get me to any of the major off-road trails at national parks where I can go mountain biking or hiking. And one of the neat features here is that when you're up high on a hill and you're coming down the hill to get home, we'll actually generate electricity on the way down. And all this happens through the Ultium drive units. The motor in the front is actually combined with a locking differential for the rock crawling. The rear motors can work in concert with that independently on the driver's side versus the passenger side to give you real control and torque vectoring. Now, with all this capability, you have to make sure that no matter what, these systems are durable. And you have to control all of this torque and all of these different modes of operation with confidence. And our pure EV propulsion system also holds torque for much longer and through a wider range of speeds than even diesel engines, which is great for both on and off-road. The Hummer EV will be the first GMC to offer Super Cruise the hands-free driver technology that works on over 200,000 miles of highways in North America. And remember I said zero compromise? So with that in mind, we've added automatic lane change, and to bring the Hummer EV and the outside world together is our e-assist app. This allows monitoring of the vehicle's energy usage, along with setting up a charging schedule, conditioning the battery temperature on the way to the charging station, and teaching you how to drive more efficiently to maximize your range and more. All of these cutting edge EV technologies were aimed at one goal, to deliver the ultimate expression of off-road capability and performance. Setting a goal to build the most capable factory truck ever required us to handpick a team of GM's most talented and most passionate off-roaders to bring their experience to this program. This team helped develop and build the innovative features and technologies from firsthand experience, which allow Hummer EV to conquer virtually any obstacle or terrain. Todd Hubbard and Aaron Fow live and breathe off-roading and rock crawling outside of work. And now, thanks to Hummer EV, they can also do it at work as well. Mike Colville, who's an experienced off-road racer, is also a member of our engineering team. Together, these off-road experts and our team back home in Detroit brought their years of incredible adventures and knowledge to the Hummer EV. Mike, we've been together since day one, 18 months ago, and it's great having you as part of the team. Tell us a little bit about your background and what it brought to the table for Hummer EV. You know, I've spent a ton of time in Johnson Valley, California, supporting and racing in the King of the Hammers. And I applied a lot of what I learned into making the Hummer EV even better than what I raced in many ways. A great example is a time I was racing up outer limits, and I broke a half shaft when I was turned hard to the left and accelerated really hard. That was on me. When I started working on the Hummer EV, we created an algorithm that adds more power to the wheels when they're straight. Well, Mike, I know another important part of racing is being able to lock the differentials. What did racing teach you that influenced Hummer EV development? Yeah, you know, our race vehicles also did have lockers, and knowing when to use them and when not to use them is very important. So we brought that into the Hummer EV by integrating a front e-locker into our terrain mode to help the customer. We also have a rear virtual locker 
that controls the wheel spin of the rear wheels. It's pretty amazing. Well, Mike, you've certainly encountered your fair share of tough obstacles over the years. How will the Hummer EV's four-wheel steering and crab walk help customers navigate through tight places? Yeah, you know, prior to my racing, I started out in rock crawling. And I actually had a vehicle that had four-wheel steer. So what we did is we created multiple steering modes on the Hummer EV, including crab walk, to make that a lot easier for the customer and more intuitive to navigate tight places. Well, crab walk is an awesome feature, but four-wheel steer is also going to be great on-road. Aaron, tell us a bit about your off-road experiences and the example we talked about earlier. I love challenging myself on trails. On a recent trip to Windrock Park last June, I had to navigate a turn with a very aggressive side slope combined with about a five-foot vertical wall. Thankfully, I got out with only a cracked tail lamp. But I knew at that moment, if I had the ability to steer the rear of the vehicle, I could have crab walked through that thing completely unscathed. 